Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install mods in Minecraft 1.16.2. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to add mods to Minecraft 1.16.2, but first, I am assuming you've already got Forge set up. If you don't have Forge set up, check out the video in the description down below. At the eye of the top of your screen, and it's even at the end of this video, it's it's everywhere. This tutorial right here, which will actually be updated to 1.16.2, I just recorded the 1.16.2 tutorial, that's why it's not here just yet, but by the time this video is out, the 1.16.2 tutorial is out, and when you go to this website, it'll be right here, different thumbnail and background image and everything, but it will say 1.16.2 here, instead of 1.16.1, meaning you are good to go. However... I say all that to say I assume you already have Forge set up and installed, and you can check out the link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Forge, to figure out how to add Forge to Minecraft. It's going to show you everything, it's going to get it all set up, and then this tutorial will be a breeze for you because you'll have Forge already installed. The hardest part, honestly, already installed and set up. But once you've got that, we can go ahead and move forward to getting mods installed. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible Minecraft server running Forge with mods or plugins or anything you want. If you want to run a Minecraft server running like Spigot and plugins, you can do that. If you want to run Forge and play all kinds of Minecraft mods, you can do that. And guess what? Even if you want to play some awesome mod packs, you can set them up with just one click at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com on them. They have great 24 hours support and just their overall incredible so go check out apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own minecraft server but you're not here to start a minecraft server you are here to add some mods to minecraft so let's go ahead and get that done to do that, you want to, again, make sure Forge is installed. I'm going to harp on it just one more second here. You want to make sure Forge is installed. That's going to be the second link down below. It's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial for Forge. However, once you've got that, once you're done there, you can go ahead and move on to installing mods. Now, in the description, I have four mods linked. Technically, three mods. We have the Gravestone mod, we have Security Craft, and we have Useful Backpacks, right? All of these mods are linked in the description down below, and they're what we're going to be using in this video to kind of showcase how to install mods. However, any mod is going to install the exact same way as long as it is a 1.16.2 version of the mod. I'm going to show you a few different ways to make sure it's the 1.16.2 version, so let's go ahead and jump on into it, starting off with Gravestone. Now, we actually do have a dedicated tutorial for Gravestone on our website, Site, but once you're here, in this case, just click that yellow download gravestone button, and that will take you off to their official download page. Now, the first thing that you can do to check to see if the version is, you know, for 1.16.2 is actually check here. But as you can see, this one says it's not. For one, it says it's for 1.15.2. Why does it say that? Because that's the less stable release, right? There is a 1.16.2 version of the gravestone mod, but you have to actually look for it. How do you do that? Well, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Recent Files, and then under that, you'll see Minecraft 1.16. But don't stop there. You then need to confirm the version under it, right? So as you can see here, we have 1.16.1. That's not what we want. Then we have 1.16.2 under that. That is what we want. So make sure we have 1.16.2 somewhere in the title there. In this case, it's at the very beginning. And then click on that purple download button to the right. It's then going to take us off where, after a few seconds, the download will begin. Now, you will need to keep these files or save them. They're 100% safe to keep and save. So as you can see in the bottom left, we do need to keep it. And on Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save it in your screen. What about Security Craft, though? How do we know the version? Well, as you can see with Security Craft, it says game version 1.16.2. Boom, we are good to go. That means we can again come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until we see that 1.16.2 there, and then click on that purple download button to the right of that. But we know this is updated because it does say game version there, because the latest version of Security Craft is stable in 1.16.2. Again, after we click download, we will need to keep the file or save it on Mozilla Firefox. U-Team Core. Now, this one says 1.16.1, but if we come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down, do our little trick, look at the title, doesn't doesn't say it right at the beginning, but it does say U-Team Core 1.16.2 right there in the title. So we can go ahead and click on that purple download button to the right of that, and the download again will begin. I will save you the boring of like, you know, showing you how to do that. It's pretty simple. You download it, you keep or save the file. It's pretty simple there. And then the U-Team Core, you might be asking, why did we need that? Well, that is needed for the useful backpacks mod. As you can see, this mod requires U-Team Core. But again, this is one where it doesn't say immediately, make it immediately apparent it's 1.16.2 compatible. But if we come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down, we can see if we hover over useful backpacks here, if this is useful backpacks, 1.16.2, and then another version number. So as you can see, 1.16.2 appears in the title. So we can go ahead and click on that purple download button on that version. So 
that's why it's important not to just click download right away and, and, and make sure things work. Because if you just click the download button on this mod, it's not going to be the most recent 1.16.2 version. It's going to be the most recent stable version, which in this case would have been 1.16.1. And if you go back here to this like gravestone mod, that's actually going to be 1.15.2, right? So that's why it's important to look at what you're downloading. But in this case, we have now downloaded the 1.16.2 versions of all these mods. So if we minimize our browser here, on our desktop, we have this mod, this mod, and this mod, and this mod. We also have some temporary download files that you won't have. My computer just glitches out and keeps these way longer than they should, and then they randomly disappear. That's just my computer, though. Nothing to do with yours. Anyway, we have Gravestone mod here. Then we have the Security Craft mod. Then we have U-Team Core. And then we have Useful Backpacks. All these are pretty awesome. Gravestone mod, adding gravestones in-game. Security Craft adds different ways to, like, protect your houses and things like that from mobs, but also from other players if, let's say, you're playing on a server or a land world. And then we do have U-Team Core, which is required for Useful Backpacks, which adds in all sorts of backpacks that expand Minecraft storage. So, pretty cool stuff there. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and you need to launch up Forge. If you're like, but Nick, I don't have Forge. You need to go go through our tutorial right here. This one, this tutorial here, it's going to show you how to get Forge set up. It's helped over 1.3 million people get Forge installed in Minecraft, so I guarantee it's going to be able to help you as well. Go through this tutorial. It's a simple tutorial, seven steps. Really and truly, it's just six steps, though, and really it's just five because step six is install mods, which is what you're doing here. But nevertheless, whenever you've got Forge installed and you're in Minecraft, you can select Forge down here in the bottom left. It should say Forge 1.16.2. If it doesn't, that's fixed in our Forge tutorial. We show you how to fix that. And then click that green play button. Now, this is going to open up a little small, right? So that is a little annoying. It's going to open up a little small because it didn't change our resolution there. But no worries, not a big deal. I'll make it bigger once we're in game. But as you can see, the Forge mod load is running and it's kind of getting everything set up. Up, and then it will go ahead and open up to uh, kind of be working here. So let's go ahead, let it open up, do do do, do its own thing, and I'll meet you once we are on. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu, and like I said, I'm going to make this much, much, much larger. Probably not exactly 1080p, but I think I'm pretty good at estimating it these days. Like it's, I've been doing this a while, and we had 1080p Minecraft open for a lot. But anyway, once you're on this main menu, you can confirm it's Forge by making sure it says Forge down here in the bottom left. Then click on the Mods tab here, and then click on the Open Mods folder. So again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on the Mods button, and then click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. That's then going to open up your Mods folder, where you want to take any mods you're installing, in this case, Gravestone, the Security Craft mod, U-Team Core, and Useful Backpacks, and drag and drop it here. Now, I did notice one thing here we do have Gravestones 1.16.1, 1.0. Now, the reason that's the case is because it changed the version name, number on us. But as long as we download it from here, the correct version, which is 1.16.2, we should be good. So I'm thinking we're going to be good here, but that is something to note. You want to make sure you double-check your mods here. It's not going to break anything permanently, but it could break something temporarily, like you might not be able to launch Minecraft, but we'll see what happens. It does say it's correct on the website, so we'll go ahead and assume it's correct here, and that was just like a file name issue there. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and now close out of our mods tab. Again, to install any mod in Minecraft, all you need to do is take and drag and drop it into this mods folder. That simple and that easy. Now, once you've done that, if you come back to Minecraft, it's not going to appear here. It's never going to appear here. You can click done, you can click on mods, it's never going to appear here. What you need to do is click on done and then quit the game. Then you want to go ahead and reopen up the Minecraft launcher. All right, so reopen up the Minecraft launcher here. I am actually going to change our resolution real quick just so we can see better once we get in game. Boom. Boom, there we go. Then we can click save down here. And now I'm going to click play on the Forge profile. Now this time when it's opening up, you'll actually be able to see it recognizing these mods. So as you can see, there it is. Useful backpacks, U-Team Core, Gravestone, and Security Craft all were recognized there. Now just because they're recognized doesn't mean they're going to work. There could still be bugs in the launching and loading process. But these mods should work. If there's going to be an issue, I'm guessing it's going to be with Gravestone. And I'm also guessing it's actually going to tell us if there is one. So anyway, going ahead and launching up now, as you can see. Now Minecraft is actually loading. Forge has pretty much done most of its setup at this point, and we are loading right on into Minecraft. As you can see, final completion, freezing data, and mod loading complete. So there we go. So yes, even though that mod name switched and it said 1.16.1, if you click on the mods tab here, we do have the Gravestone mod, Security Craft, Useful Backpacks, and U-Team Core all installed, which is all four of the mods we wanted. I am going to go ahead and create a new modded world here. So a modded world. And then we can go ahead and make this creative, and I'm going to create a world. I'll do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you after this world has been created. There we go. Our world is loaded up. We have spawned in here, and there we can see in the chat, Security Craft giving us a little tip. I am going to fly kind of up and away a little bit. Um, maybe we can do this on top of a treetop, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. But anyway, once you are here, we can go ahead and click over, and we can see all the Security Craft stuff. We've got Security Craft explosives, Security Craft de decorations. All of that is in here. Let's go ahead and just grab a few 
a few different things here from Security Craft that we can like slam down just so you can see that it is working. And then we will also grab ourselves a medium and a large backpack from the useful backpacks mod. So let's go ahead and place down these tracks here. Is that possible? No, it doesn't seem like that's possible, but this is possible. Reinforced diorite, keypad, laser block, boom, right like so. As you can see, now there's a laser in between those two blocks. I think these will go for quite a ways too, but yeah, there we have that. Then we do have the password protected foreigners. As you can see, you need to enter in your password there. And then there is a panic button that we can place there. And yes, that is, well, now we're panicking. You can either disable it or enable it. Then we do have the medium backpack, which you can actually put all of our security craft stuff in, except the large backpack, which we're going to actually put the panic button in and the medium backpack in. Yes, you can stack backpacks. It's kind of crazy if you stack a bunch of backpacks, it can get overwhelming, but nevertheless, you can do it. Nevertheless, that is how you can uh, download and install mods in Minecraft. Now, there's one more mod that we are forgetting here, and that's going to be the gravestone mod. And I believe we jump off of here. There we go. And there is the gravestone, as you can see. And we do get this handy OB which is going to tell us where we died. All of that helpful information is going to be shown there. You can actually go back to your XYZ coordinates there and get your stuff back if you want. It also has some more information like what you died with, which is a large backpack. You don't know what's in that large backpack, but that's kind of the mystery of it. You can also pick these uh, gravestones up with Silk Touch, by the way, so feel free to do that and make your own awesome graveyards. But nevertheless, there you have it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. But nevertheless, enjoy your Minecraft mods. I am going to uh, create another gravestone. Boom. There we go. <laughs> What's cool, by the way, is this now says we died with an obituary. So you could actually create like a sort of a, you know, different thing of like obituary to obituary to obituary to obituary until finally you end up with some cool loot at a gravesite. So awesome stuff there. But thank you also so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And please consider coming and playing with us at the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We do have incredible survival with medieval survival, having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. We also have aquatic survival with a slash shop-based economy and incredible community and then we do have custom factions as well with small team based factions meaning 10 players maximum to a faction and then we've also got awesome 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 skyblock with op enchants an incredible custom island setup, bench generators, and so much more. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.